In this video, I'm going to show you how you can select only the employees that are available when you're making up a daily schedule. So here I have um, a standard issue um, June schedule where I have um, they work five days on and two days off. And uh, and so that most days that there was either two or three people off. So it's not that tough to work with. But then on the odd day, we have um, we have uh, five people off, for example, on Tuesday the 8th. And so planning your work schedule might be difficult. So um, let's go look at, um, I've already got the seventh run. So let's go look at what it looks like. So we're talking about the 7th of June here. And so now we can look at, um, we have uh, two people off. And so let's, it's called the 7th. And so there you have, um, a list of all the people that are working and now you're able to plan out your work schedule uh, on working on work orders or or whatever the case may be because you know how many people are available for that day so let me show you a couple of things and so i've got the next one and i've got just just stay in there and what i've got and no schedule in there but i've got a work order in here but um so what i have done is I've created a list of all the days and how I did that is I went to my data tab and I clicked on clicked on the cell went to my data tab and I went to conditional form or conditional form or data validation I'm sorry went to data validation and dropped it that down and I got list and then what I did is for for I went to the June sheet and I selected all of my days on my schedule that I have on my June sheet. And so now when we drop down this list, we have uh, all the days that we have on in the month there listed. And so now what I've got, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my June sheet. And so now if I look at the eighth, the eighth is one of these days when I only have uh, uh, two, four, five people working. So let's click on June on uh, let's select June 8 and see what happens. So I'll go to my day and from the drop down, I'm going to select June 8th. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add staff. And so here we have all of the staff that are working that day. So now I know, um, if they're individual people, so you know the different skill levels, you know what, what work you can plan for the day. So that way you can plan for each day. Now the days are, uh, they they mark the date on the, the tab so they know which day you're working on. So let's look at the code for a minute here. And I'm not going to go over my schedule, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go populate staff. So my macro is called populate staff. And so what I've done is I have um, uh, find is a range. So that's when we're looking on our sheet, sheet of the month, um, R and C, R and, uh, and C is long. They're, they're my row and column. The day is the date. Um, the date is another way of calling it up. And M is an integer. Home is my active worksheet. I did this so that I can change, I can make every sheet. Um, I don't have to write new code for every sheet. So whatever act, whatever the active sheet is, it's going to run on. So I've called it home, home range, A14 to A4 to A15, clear content. So we're clearing it all before we go. Um, day equals active sheet cells two two. So this is my drop down here. The date equals date value day. And the day date, the date format equals uh, the date, and then DD for so it's just showing the two the two numbers for the date. Um, active sheet name is the date, and so now I've renamed um, the sheet to be eight for this day. Um, and sheet one activating sheet one is my June, and then I'm going the row column, and then it's looking for um, between column two and thirty three. It's um, it's going to that row and then it's looking for that value. So if the active cell day, if active cell equals day, then active cell offset 
So it's going down one and it's selecting um, active cell is, is row, the row and the column is what we're doing there. And so now, then what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing do while active cell value does not equal blank. So as long as there's something in there, sheet one activate, sheet one cells R, C. And so that is the column, the column below or the cell below um, the date. And um, if the active cell value equals W, then copy sheet one cells R, R1, which is the name and home select, which is my active worksheet. Then it's, I'm defining last row as act on the on the sheet, and then active sheet cells last row dot paste special. So I'm pasting whatever whatever if it has a W beside it, I'm pasting this on this sheet here, and then um, it goes it goes down all of the rows, and then we go for our for for our our complete sheet. I will of course um, include the code in the description of my video. I have uh, an introduction to VBA course that I'll have a link to that if you're interested to more of uh, more of this, uh, more of this information, please subscribe.